Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. And how's your body's day? Mine has been really, really good. Actually, really crap. I'm <laughs> sorry, I did not mean to lie to you guys. Uh, first of all, I am recording on Shadow Play. Uh, I forgot that I have the program. I did use Camtasia's uh, Fingerbob Bob, and that not that the quality wasn't the same. It was very laggy and stuff. And I want to show you something else. Uh, just quickly, want to. Just turn these things off so I get better frames. Let me show you guys something. Look at my ping. That's bullshit. <laughs> Epically bullshit. So, yeah, I'm having some problem with my internet, my internet service provider and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, oh yeah, before I forget, thank you ladies and gentlemen for the subscribers. All of you guys are really, really awesome. What the hell's wrong with my right eye? You guys see that? My left and right side. I got... Can I poop? Can I poop? No, I cannot poop. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for all the subscribers and everything. You guys are really, really awesome. And expect the face reveal maybe on Saturday, Sunday, or next week, Monday. I'm giving you guys a chance to still um, ask me some questions in the like subscriber video and stuff. You guys can check that out. But what we are going to do today is something a little bit different. Um, first of all, I'm going to try to up the times by five minutes all of this recording times uh well not recording the all of the episodes are going to be like five minutes long longer than usual but there is something i wanted to talk to you guys about is the sickle as you can see this thing looks ba really it does it looks really badass so it's just like oh yeah this this is this thing looks actually very very dangerous so i quickly want to go through the recipe with you guys uh let's go in here now you can only craft it here at the smithy, so yeah, as you can see, I have to play around with it a little bit. So let's go here to weapons, um, melee, as you guys can see, it is 18 ingots, 4 wood, and 16 hide. And where it is in the ingrams, if you just scroll down just a little bit to where the metal uh, tools and things are start. Okay, so you get your metal pickaxe, and hatchet, and pikes, and all that kinds of things, and just one two rows down at the first one over here as you guys can see there is the metal sickle just next to the stego saddle and basically everything else there's another thing they added as well which we can look at a little bit later is the canteen but we need the water jar and i mean i have the blueprints for the water jar i wish you could learn the blueprints into ingram so you don't have to spend it all and i also added the uh comp composite bow and the piercing arrow the pier and i mean it's, that's that's top stuff but um, for me, we still have to get to that. And uh, yeah, that is uh, quite a thing. So let us go ahead and go gather something, you know, some fiber. I think that is in order. And uh, yes, I have tamed a second Ichthyo, Ichthyosaurus. Ichthyosaurus. And um, now it's male and female, so they are mate boosted, which is pretty cool. What's up, Elia? How's it going, girl? Miss you. And um, let's go over here and take it out. Just ignore that. So, there's a good things and some bad things about the sickle. So, the good thing is it can gather quite a ton of fiber. All right. Um, but what I've noticed is, okay, I'm holding left click in. Okay. You see, it gathers, gathers, it gathers, which is pretty cool. But it sometimes just doesn't want to register, if you know, guys know what I mean. But if you keep on tapping your left click, it actually it registers then. So if you're having trouble with it, just left click like a bunch, bunch of times. You know, then then it will start working. Uh, for me, when I started out with it, it didn't want to pick up that I'm like hitting the plants and stuff. But as you guys can see, this thing is really, really awesome. It actually attacks really fast. So let's go over here. I wanted to show you guys the bad thing about it. Yes, I did run a little bit now, but you guys will understand in a bit when I get to here. Um, for me, the best things to harvest are these bamboos kind of thing. Let's go ahead and do this, and you guys will see. Just go through everything, and then boom, you know, just like you're gathering fiber like a maniac. So be a proper farmer, you know? And you can keep on going like this like forever, but I want to show you guys the problem, the bad side of the sickle, which you have to be very careful about. 
I've seen some many people made the mistake of doing this. Okay, just go ahead and then you see suddenly you start getting tired. This thing chows stamina like a maniac. And I've actually seen people like pass out because of fiber gathering. I think they were so happy. It's like, yeah, now we can get in fiber. Let's go ahead. You can be farmers. You know, fiber farmers. And then just pass out for like less than five minutes into fiber gathering. You know, that is... That was one of the funniest things ever, but like I said, just be careful when going out slashing plants. It does chow your stamina quite a lot. It's actually, it chows it way faster than when you're harvesting rocks or trees or something. You know, it's that's that's a thing. So I'm trying to record uh, with shadow play and everything and with very low internet speeds and it's actually quite sad our internet because it, it was so fine it was working handy dandy it was like wow it's good it's really awesome and then just like this afternoon just after dinner actually then it was like what the hell is going on i just want to see did it drop yet no not yet how's your food looking yeah you're getting quite hungry you guys yeah you guys are very hungry we have to go and get some food for you guys so we're gonna jump on the rex and just quickly want to go and put these things out there. Let's go ahead and drink a little bit of water as well. Whoops. There we go. I kind of like that. Like it sticks out through the woods, you know. And no, this is not the fiber. It's over here. As you can see, this was just collected with a hand and I spent half an hour, maybe less than half an hour. 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes. Give or take. Okay, and this, all of this was... Uh, up in this, this and that was gathered like in five minutes time with the sickle. So the sickle is a really good addition to this game. You don't get a primitive one, but you do get a uh, the metal one, which we just saw, which is pretty cool. I mean, I, I, I actually am happy that they brought this in. Now it's just a question of what's next. Are they going to bring in a, like a lawnmower or something? <laughs> Imagine that. Um, but yeah, let us go ahead and we're going to jump on the Rex. I'm just gonna head down to the beach. Um, I think this stuff is already... I don't want these eggs to go bad because I'm actually waiting for them to implement like breeding or something. We might lose the Bronto egg by the time they do that. Actually, let's go ahead and do this. I actually forgot to... I've got some stuff in here thanks to Atkinson. I actually also saw the other day that Atkinson is actually one of my subscribers names as well. <laughs> I was like, what are the odds? Uh, but for me, it was the Atkinson name was actually from Mr. Bean. Okay, today, maybe? No? Yes? All right. And let's go ahead and craft all... Oh, that's, that's good enough. Yes, it's crafting. Okay, cool. Uh, food and stuff. Anyway, let us go ahead and... Whoops. This is what we're going to do in future episode. Um, if I can just find it. Because I really want it. I really want to play with it as well. Um, there it is. Industrial Girl. Don't worry, we'll get our Ingrams back. Because at level 60, then that's the top thing you want to research and stuff. So we will look at the Industrial Girl in the near future. We just have to check out... Um, I actually have to get all the ingredients for it. You know, like the um, chitin and the... What is it? Uh, cementing paste and all those kinds of things. That's what we need. And to show you guys, actually, I found out that it is actually pretty... Wow, look at the amount of raw meat. <laughs> oh, spoiled meat, I mean, this girl has on her. The the thing is, I'm really just quickly show you guys. Um, I found a way for, like, really great chitin, uh, to gather chitin, and even oil, to be honest. A very, very great way to... Oh, that rubber banding on the lags and stuff, and I think the server is also a little bit unstable. Um... This is bothering me too much. I just want to get some of this. Oh, it's already done. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and chuck this in there. Lovely. Now you will work. And soon they're going to add the Bronto. We can build on a Bronto and that kind of stuff. So I was thinking maybe a little platform. Maybe 2x2, two 4x4. Two, four four. I don't know how it's going to work. We're going to go together and see how that goes together. And we're going to make like a, a walking taming kind of base. You know, with a sleeping bag. Um, a preserving bin. One of these... And, you know, those guys, those kinds of things, so we can just travel around and start taming and that kind of stuff. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys this. Look at the amount of chitin I've got. 
and the oil in here as well. This is this is well the that those ones over there. I gathered like one, two, three, four, five hundred and fifty-three of the beach. And he was like, What? Off the beach? Don't you get it from like other things? It's like, yeah, but remember when we looked uh, last time at the trollobites? Yeah. Those things. I think you guys should what you should do is um jump on arc, get yourself a T-Rex. I think the saber the saber cat, I just call it saber cat, the saber tooth tiger, would be actually the best thing to use in this current situation. But I would recommend also using a T-Rex because if you're gonna harvest them, they kind of tend to uh, how can I say you you're wasting metal basically repairing your metal hatchets and all those kinds of things but what you can do is just use a, a mount you know maybe a sort of a raptor maybe you know the one i've got just sort of that see how that works if that doesn't work out you can just jump off it and kill those trollobites and collect it off the trollobites dead bodies you know and for me i was actually quite lucky oh great loading oh lovely loading in but for me, I was quite lucky around here. There's actually quite a few spawns if it would stop lagging. Uh, this is not one. That's not one. That's not one. I'm just trying to look like this or looking this way to find them. I'm not sure. I don't see them. But I know they're here. And luckily, because the T-Rex is like quite high up in the air, I can walk through the water and just go ahead and collect like this. One thing I did notice is when you attack them, they launch a little bit ways away and also they would do that bouncy thing as you can see guys look how many there is if you can just kill a bunch of them this is in 14 chitin of one and few silica pearls as well there we go 11 chitin again you know how awesome is this this is really really look how many there are anyways And this is, this, I mean, it's like, wow. Now, 106 already, just off that few. Just wanna, okay, there's not enough uh, walking space, let's put it that way. Let me show you guys. This is insane, guys, and you also get oil from them. Which is pretty cool, and let's go look at our inventory. 33 oil already. No rocks, no pickaxes, no diving into dangerous waters. I wonder if... Can I walk over one? No, I, I missed that one by accident. I'll try not to run because that seems to, like, do a lot of loading in, loading out. But, yeah, also, there is some really great news. The... What you would call it? Um, I just, just got a reply from Royal, like... Uh, I commented one of his videos asking him, like, does he know when the survival of the fittest game mode is coming out? And he said on the 15th of, or 13th of August. That's gotta be awesome, and I hope you guys can join me and cheer me on as I try that out myself. But I don't know, I don't know if it might be take, it, will it take that long? You know, if you guys were there at the stream, you guys would have noticed how long it takes for one of those matches to, like, finish. Now I'm wondering, are you going to be in teams of two, or are you going to be alone, like in H1Z1 Battle Royale? Are you going to be like alone, do your own thing? Which is kind of sucky. If you guys know what I mean, it's, it's, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like playing alone. I mean, yes, I'm playing Ark Survival Evolved alone, but it's like on a server which is PvP enabled, but no PvP is allowed. So that's kind of what I like about this. The server, that's what I mean. Alright, let's go ahead and turn around. And this is what I just did the other day, guys. It's just like walking around, searching for these guys, killing them one by one like this. And the reason why I turn around and attack them this, like this, is so they can launch into... Oh, you're not dead? Yeah, bitch. Oh, wait, you're not dead yet. It's because they launch, and I, last time I tried it, I attacked one, I'd launched into the water. Like, okay, how the hell am I going to get that? <laughs> So that, that was a thing. Alright. And this is a pretty cool way, you know, to gain a lot of chitin and stuff. Just this little time, we it's been 15 minutes now already. Mm -hmm.